please don't be intimidated by pivot tables. Just go insert pivot table, select the data range. In this case, it's that table up there. I don't need to be explicit about it. Select where you want it inserted. I'm just going to click the cell right here so it goes right underneath there. And it's going to open up the big pivot table editor and it'll actually suggest some different things. Let's say sum of current spend remaining budget for each priority. So it's coming and already just giving me some maybe decent data right here by saying, hey, we're gonna group together high, low, and medium priorities and the sum of the current spend and the remaining budget from this table up here that I had generated previously. If that's not what you wanted and you need to manually do this, well, you can just come over here and you've got rows, columns, and values. That's how a pivot table is constructed. And instead of priority, say we wanna put team size. Well, it's as easy as just dragging these columns. And that's what these are over here in the right. These are just all the names of the columns that we have in our table of data that we're using. This is a super fast way to summarize and visualize data that most people are intimidated just by the name of, but they haven't really investigated it.